Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to do a first setup of the iPad Mini. For some of you, this may be very second nature. Others of you may be wondering what's involved in the setup. So I thought I'd go through that for you. So we'll turn it on. We can hit the home button or the button on the top, slide to unlock. We're going to pick our language. You have a bunch of options. If you don't speak English natively and you want something else, you have a bunch of options. Then you hit the blue arrow at the top, pick next, pick your country. Then you're going to pick your Wi-Fi network. You ideally will want to use that or you'll have to connect this to iTunes if you don't have that. Once you've typed your password, hit join. It will join the Wi-Fi network and then it will let you hit next. It's going to activate the iPad. It's activated. Now this allows you to enable or disable location services. In my particular case, I want to enable it. I want it to be able to find the general location of the iPad mini. So I'll enable that hit next. Now we can set this up as a new iPad. We can restore from iCloud backup or restore from iTunes backup. In this case, I'm going to set it up as a new iPad as I'm not really sure what I want to use on it yet. If you have an iCloud backup, you'll probably be familiar with that, but you'll hit Restore iCloud Backup. You'll be prompted to put in your username and password for iCloud, and then it will start to restore. Hit Next. I'll sign in with an Apple ID. This would be the same as if you're using the backup. Once you've signed in, you have to agree to the terms and conditions. Hit Agree. Hit Agree again. If you don't agree, you won't be able to use it. It's going to register the device with Apple. And then it's going to ask you if you want to use iCloud or not. In my particular case, I do want to use iCloud. What it will do will back up my iPad mini. It will also allow it to sync different documents through the cloud. So if I'm on my MacBook and I want to save a bookmark, it will show up in Safari here as far as a bookmark. I would advise using iCloud, but some of you may not want to use it, so you can opt out. Hit Next. Now this is going to ask you if you want to back up to iCloud or back up to your computer. You can use either or. I prefer iCloud since I don't have to worry about it or manage it. But if you'd rather have the data locally, you can plug it into your computer and back up that way using iTunes. Hit next. It will initiate that. Now iCloud does come with free storage, but if you use a lot of Apple devices, you should be aware of that already, or you may be. And what you'll want to do is buy more storage if you need it, or if you're just backing up your data, you may not need it. Now this is Find My iPad. Find My iPad will allow you to locate your iPad should you lose it, misplace it, or perhaps have it stolen. It will actually jump on the network or the next time it's on Wi-Fi. Or should you have a 3G, 4G version, when it's connected to data, it will allow you to locate the iPad. I like to use it, keep track of my devices just in case. Now this is for messaging. Messaging, you can see here, I can't show you, but there's my email addresses and phone number, and it will allow people to message me directly on my iPad mini. I can either allow that or disallow it, and then select what you want or deselect, hit next. Now I do like Siri, but you don't have to use voice control. I want to use Siri. Siri allows us to do different things with our voice. And do we want to send diagnostic and usage information to Apple? I don't really want to, so I'll hit next. And I'm going to register this with Apple. Simply hit start using iPad and we have the home screen. The home screen's quite nice, and you can start from here by adding apps and anything you want. If you have any questions, please place them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit subscribe. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.